Hey everyone, welcome to yet another interesting video. In today's video, I'll show you how you can automate the database patching of your Oracle-based database in OCI, and we'll be using OCI CLI. I'm Amal Raj, so let's get started. Now, if you have an Oracle-based database, one of the easiest way to patch is go to the console, uh, go to the DB details page, uh, which I am in, as you can see in the screen, I'm in my database details page. And from there, you can go to the version and click on the view, which will show you the available patches for your database. And from the available patches, you can go to the right hand side, click on the three dots and you can do the pre-check and first do the pre-check and then do the apply. So this is the easiest way. Of course, this is very well possible and then you can use it. But if you have large number of databases or, or if you want even, if you have smaller number of databases, but you want to automate the process, uh, then there are multiple options. You can use the uh, SDKs. You can also use Amino um, OCI REST endpoints. But one of the easiest way that I have seen is using OCI CLA and which is what we are going to uh, discuss and uh, show today. So for to use the OCA CLA, there are again multiple ways. You can either install the OCA CLA in a separate compute host, okay, or you can use the cloud shell. So for today's video, I'm going to use the cloud shell. You can go to your, as you can see in the console, go to the developer tools and then click on the cloud shell. So the cloud shell will look like this. And this is what we are going to use to initiate our OCA CLA commands. So OCA CLA is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Command Line Interface. So that's why we need a shell. Now, when you use a cloud shell for OCA CLA, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is you need to configure the OCA CLA. It is installed, but it is not configured for you. So you'll have to configure it for you. Of course, you can refer the Oracle documents and easily do it. The second one is if your DB system or Oracle based database in a private subnet, then you'll have to do an additional configuration of your cloud shell. You can come to the network and then do the click on the private network definition list. Of course, there are documents that you can follow and enable your cloud shell to communicate to a private subnet. So for today's video, I have already done the OCA CLI configuration and my database is in a public subnet. So we are done. We can get started. And then uh, in today's video, again, there will be two parts. In the first part, we'll be uh, doing the pre-check for the patch. And in the second part, we'll be focusing on doing the actual patch itself. Okay, so let's start with the uh, part one. The step one of the part one is we need to get the database source because uh, that is where that is the database before which we are going to apply the patch. So for that, uh, you can go to the console and then you can go to the DB and then get the OSIT. So for this video, I have done it manually. And of course you can explore the automatic ways or automation. So for, I have copied the DB OSIT and now we'll have to export it. So let us do that. Okay, so the DBO SID has been exported now. So this is a step one. Step two is, okay, for this particular database, what are the available patches in the OCI? So for that, we'll have to execute a command. I'll show you that command. So this is the command which we'll execute. It will get the list of the patches by the database and we are, we are passing the DBO SID here and then, we are getting the output to a JSON file. So let's do that. Okay, now let us see the contents of the JSON file. Okay, so it has uh, all the patch details. So I am going to the extreme top. So here you can see it has uh, April 2023 patch and Jan 2023. And again, in the bottom, there are a couple of other patches that we have seen from the console. And for today's video, we will be applying the latest patch, which is April 2023. And I'll show you the next step, how you can automatically you know, take it from this JSON file. Let me clear this.
I have I am exporting the patch, a specific patch from the previous JSON file. So this has exported the specific patch OSIT for for the April 2023. So this has been done. Now the third step is uh, we'll start with the pre-check. So I'll again clear this. This is already exported. So the next step is we will export another variable. which is our patch action. So patch action is pre-check. We are going to do the pre-check. That's why we made it as pre-check. Now we'll execute the actual command for doing the pre-check. So it is it is initiating a patch pre-check for this particular database ID, which is we already exported earlier. And the patch ID, again, which we did it in the second step, we have taken this you know, patch ID and patch action we have just done now. So if you execute this, okay, it has given an output, let it be there. Uh, let us uh, minimize it and come to here. And soon we will be able to see uh, the patch pre-check has been started and it is started applying. As you can see now, the April 2023 patch has started applying. So this is one way, of course, the idea is not to come to console. I will show you how you can do it from the uh, backend itself using OCACLI. Of course, you can go to the database and see the work request. You will be able to uh, see it there. So let us go to the DB. Let us go to the database here. And then if you see the work request, you can see in the work request, one work request is already there and it is already in progress. So this is uh, from the console level. Let us go back to the OCACLA and uh, see how you can see it from using OCACLA. So let me clear this. So the fourth step is how to monitor the progress of the pre-check. So for that, we need a couple of things. The first one is we need to export the compartment ID. So I'm going to do that. It's done. And then, of course, our DBOCD is already exported. So we are ready to execute the command to get the work request. So let me execute that. So I'll get the work request and then I'll uh, redirect it to a specific JSON file. So that has been down. Now let me see what is the output of this JSON file. So you can see uh, there is only one work request in the console also, that's why it, it is only giving one. If there are multiple, uh, it will give that also. So you can see the work request now. Now, if there are multiple work requests, you can of course get the latest work request by uh, using an export, uh, using also a JQ. So for our, yes, uh, I can do that. So what we're going to do is we'll export the specific ID. Okay, so I have done a specific ID. So that's done. So I got the specific work request ID, which I can use it for monitoring. Now let me execute another command, which will be able to uh, monitor the specific work request. Okay, so I executed it and you can see uh, it is giving the details about the work request. It is at 15% and the details about it is in progress. Now this is going to take some time. So we will, uh, I will be monitoring and then I'll post the video for some time. And once you are back, I'll show you the status of the pre-check. So welcome back. I had executed the command again and you can see that uh, the pre-check has been completed. You can get the details as you can see in the screen. So this is how easily you can initiate a pre-check and as well as monitor it using your CACLI. Now in the next part, we will actually uh, do the patching and also see how you can monitor it and uh, from the OCACLI. So we have all the uh, patch prerequisites. We have done the pre-check now. And for if you are immediately doing the patch, all the variables are set now. We have to just change the patch action to apply and then start with the patching. 
but i'm assuming that uh, suppose you have done the pre check uh, maybe one day back and you know, you're starting with patching freshly so we'll start with the step one which is your dbid dboc so we'll first export it and then of course uh, we will get the patch id so and batch id is redirected to the json file and from the json file we are ex we are taking the specific patch osit so that has been done now the next thing is we will do the patch action we will uh, define the patch action so let me do that we have done the patch action as apply so we are all set now we have to just initiate the patching now so for that i'll execute the command okay so let's do this so we have initiated the patching so let it continue here uh, in the meantime we'll go to the console and see what's happening there so you'll soon be in, in a couple of seconds we will be able to see that patching has been started and it will be reflected in the console so now you can see it has started applying if you go to the db system and go to the database and then go to the work request you can see that the previous work request for the pre-check was succeeded and the current one is in progress now again uh, we can uh, we don't have to come come to the console because for automation you you need all the capabilities to even monitor it from the oci cla so that is where we will go back to the our oci cla console oci cla shell and then we will be monitoring the uh, progress from here so for that let me again export a couple of variables and then from we'll be initiating a command which will help us to uh, monitor so first thing is we need the compartment id where your db system is there and then of course uh, you're trying to get all the work requests related to a specific resource which is our database in the compartment and when then we are redirecting it to a specific json file you can change the name of the uh, json file i just put it same as your pre-check so that's done and then we can from the json file we'll be extracting the specific work request for example if you see it now previously we had seen there is only one work request now you'll be able to see multiple but nevertheless the command will work it will only extract the latest work request so now you can see there are two work requests but the next command will only extract the exact work request that we are uh, that we need okay so it has taken the work request now using the another command we will be able to monitor it so let me clear this and then yeah execute it so this is going to uh, take some time as you can see for the specific work request which is in progress uh, we are able to monitor using oca cli now this is going to take some time so i'll pause the video and then i'll come back and show you the uh, progress of the apply once it has been completed hey hi welcome back uh, so the patching has been completed i have executed the command again and you can see the patch uh, percentage is complete and same is also visible from the console so that is how easily you can automate the database patching of your oracle based database using oci cli i hope it was useful i'll again uh, meet you with another interesting video thank you